Did you live in that house? I don't know, man. It's a big ass house, though. I wouldn't pay that much money just to watch a bunch of kids smoking outside. Yeah. What would you do if money wasn't an issue? here and suck. On this thing? Mm-hmm. Okay, I'll try it. your cousin has no idea what she's doing. Dude, it's not working. <laughs> Hold up, let me try it. You gotta make a bubble like that. Yes. Let's suck harder. <coughs> Beautiful. <coughs> just like Bro, that. One chair. Why would you pot. let her do that? She wanted to learn how to hit the bong, and I just taught her how to rip it. Yeah, okay, and our weed's fucking gone now. That's why I use the bomb, man. Joints are such a waste of weed. No, they're fucking not. Joints are infinitely better. What are we, fucking cavemen wrapping leaves in herbs? Come on, man. This is the glass is the future, man. We're evolved. Have you? Tell me you've ever seen a rapper hit a bomb. Tell me you've ever seen fucking Snoop or Wiz hit a fucking bomb. Bro, they smoke. They smoke Swishers, Dutches, Backwoods. That's it. It's fucking gangster. That's what they smoke. The fuck do you know about being gangster? I know more than you. My dad knows Drake's finance guy. Oh, your dad knows Drake's finance guy. Yeah, he guy. does. Does your dad smoke weed? No, he takes uh, Ambien to get, to get to sleep. Hey, was that my phone? Man, a whole lot of series of room. Yo, shit. You said 150 for the zip, yo. Are we doing the stash? Oh, fuck, yeah. Yo, Tiago. Me and Simon want to do like this communal stash where we all have like a shit ton of weed together, just like how communism was supposed to work and bro, shit. Bro, what the fuck are you talking about? I mean, no, we are doing the stash. I don't. Um, are you trying to go in on it though with us? Go to get the zip? Uh, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and also, there's a lot of money. That's what I'm saying, you know, it was about, you know, community before self and shit. Bro, can you like, chill? Fucking this is bro, this is weed. Where does this guy want us to meet him? Vermont. We just need to cross the bridge. Okay, uh, let's go. Yo, Tiago, you coming? Yeah, whatever. Yo, Fran, you wanna go to your first drug deal? Love you guys. You good, Tiago? Yeah, Rose, just my mom, you know. She needs some stuff. Bro, 
I have been thinking about taking a tea break. Why are you like not hot right now? I am. It's just. Have you ever considered that all this is not good for us? I mean, look at Leon, you know? Russell Bro is too expensive for me, you know? It's too much money. Bro, you, you can just like cancel the payment after after you sent it. Look, I know this kid. We were like kind of close. And he was kind of like a weird guy, but like at every house party essentially we went to when he'd be buying weed, he'd send the payment. And then when the, but like he got the weed and then he would cancel it before it went through. Even like kind of like a dick thing to do, but like he didn't really pay for weed for the most part. And why do we have to go to fucking Vermont? I don't know. He's probably just sketched out by selling an illegal state. I'm still buying illegal weed, dog. Listen, man. I don't judge people. It's each their own, you know? They say they have weed. I say how much. And look, we're going right there. Alright, Tiago. It's your time to shine, my boy. What? Go, go to the Venmo truck. Yo. Bro, he wants you to go over there. What is written in his hoodie, though? It says hand over high. Bro, you need your glasses. It says hand over high. Oh, shit. That must be like the stoner's club or something. What? Oh, yeah. Bro, are you fucking stupid? It's the high, it's, it's the high school. It's hand over high school. Uh, Jesus. I don't know. It sounded like fucking like, you know, we got Hanover High. Bro, that is... It's like, that's catchy. No, that's the fucking stupidest thing. Why would it be on a hoodie? I don't know. know. It's, it's, it's kind of nice. fire. I don't yeah, know. I'd buy that. Yeah, I'd get one, too. Yeah. That's kind of dope. Tiago, go, go, go. Got it. Yeah, wait a yeah. second, man. Bro, wait go, go. Wait, go. Tiago. wait a second. I'm just taking my time. And you guys stop you don't, staring. Don't keep it you guys, you guys go, look go, like go, a take it. It's okay. It's okay. Got it, bud. Go. Me and my homies, we smoke a lot, you know. We can be very loyal customers. You make this it for a hundred. Next time we buy an ounce each, you know. How that sounds. Okay, no bullshit, okay? All right, looky here. 160 right now, not 150 right now for you, all for you. Can I just get the money, the weed, and get the fuck out of here? just business Você fuma mais não entende, né? 
Você não entende o que se consome. Oh, man, my home smoke a lot of weed. Wow. Você deve ser do tipo que pega o corre, posta fotinha no Instagram, né? Close friends. Que é muito cool ser maconheiro. Só que... Você não internaliza o potencial da flor. E vai ter sempre essa mentalidade pífia de que drogas são um mero produto. Algo pra te deixar na onda. Se pode ter algo que você use pra fugir dos seus problemas. Algo que você consome de novo e de novo. Sem nem se questionar o porquê. Eu te conheço. Tu me conhece? Você se conhece? Obrigado que você corre a mão. Só tô aqui pra comprar pra ele. Eu cultivei a flor que chega na tua boca. Do momento do plantio até a colheita, até o teu deschavador. Todo o processo é intencional. <risos> Não tô te vendendo earbuds. Tô te fornecendo algo que te possibilita tá bem, tá em paz. Ter tempo e coragem de olhar pro mundo. Você tem noção da quantidade de gente que nunca vai ter essa oportunidade, essa vivência? Ganho dinheiro com isso? Sim. Eu vim do interior do interior do Brasil. Um lugar violento pra caralho. E eu tô aqui, bem. Pago minha educação. Vivo sozinha. Planto. Faço o que eu bem quiser. Eu não ligo se... Você e os seus amigos fumam muito ou pouco. Nem o quanto vocês estão dispostos a pagar pela minha flor. Só me entristece negociar com um bando de moleque incapaz de ver beleza na lagoa. Não precisa de câncer para ser um That's not what I'm saying, dog. He was like, Walter White was super smart. Okay, he was so smart that nobody could cook like he could. What about Jesse? Dog, what about him? He, he was a fucking junkie. Like, he was like every other dealer. Until Walt came and showed him blue sky. I'm telling you, dog. You just need something that's gonna like separate you from the masses. So you're saying that chick's blue sky is like her titties? No. I mean, like, I don't know, like, how many female dealers do you see? Nah, dude, you're overthinking. You don't need a blue sky. Like, I could be a dealer. You know, I have the connections, I actually know the product. It's in me seven days a week, including right now. Walter White was a fucking nerd, you know? Like, that senile fucker could, couldn't actually be a dealer. Just all TV. Yeah, but I mean, look at our... Lover horny boy right here. Isn't that we didn't cancel the payment, dog? Yeah, Tiago, why didn't you cancel the payment? I don't know, bro. I'm just high. All right, okay, where are we going now? My dorm. Bro, fuck, don't do that. Stop thinking about the dealer. I'm 
picking him on my 50, man. Bro, come on, I was fucking around. All right, let's go play Pong. Remember Matt from uh, Delta Tau Guy? Okay, he said we could come play. Or we'll sink a few cups and you'll stop thinking about this shit. Bro, one game, man. That's it. Okay, yo, Leon, you coming? Nah, I gotta catch up on some Zen baking. I'm on that culinary Buddhism wave. I will right, we'll catch you, Leon. Got into the right time. Mm. I was baking. It was good, man. Yeah. It's a couple of joints. I think I'm becoming an artist. How was Palm? I got my 50 back. Oh, shit. What happened? After Pong, we went upstairs to this weird, weird room. Full of like American flags and shit. And all those dudes were like wearing the same type of dress. It was so weird. And they were just like staring at us. It was. Yeah. Weird how? You know when. When someone just like comes to you and asks you like. You high. When you know the person smokes weed, it's chill, you know. But when you know the person doesn't smoke, you can see like that they look at you differently, you know. It's almost like they're staring at you and judging you at the same time. It's so uncomfortable. Yeah. Like they they know you exist, but they prefer to look away. So um, after that, I went outside for a smoke, and there was this dude that came to me and started this small talk. He asked me where I went to spring break and shit, and I was. I told him about like going to Brazil and stuff, and he thought it was interesting. I didn't tell him about like where I came from or anything like that because I'm just tired, you know? I'm tired of like saying the same thing over and over again. Almost as I had to like justify myself, you know, like... Then he started talking about like his trip to Europe or something like that and all the way that he bought in those places. Man, I didn't know if he was trying to smoke with me or just brag about all his money, you know? Mm -hmm. Then I passed him the J. He took a hit. And then his friends came and took another hit. And when it was my turn, the joint was fucking wet. Fucking joint droolers, man. Give you my weed and you fuck up my joint. Yeah, should have dipped. That's our stash keeps running out. Just fucking fiends. No, man, no, man. I mean. You know what? created this fake Brazilian game that is designed to spot who fucks the J up, you know? Who makes it wet. Mm. After every hit, you have to show to the group the J. And everybody needs to witness if it's wet or not. And if it's wet, you were the loser. We did that, but they didn't want to make it for fun wanted to make it for money so we decided that everybody that would make the JY had to pay a quarter for each one of us in the circle damn that's like 250 bucks at stake holy shit everybody was smoking it right until 
He got you the dude. The smoke expert. And he take it a hit and the shit was wet as fuck. Got your money back. Congrats on that. Brazil. I don't know what I'm doing here, man. I don't know what I would do in Brazil. If I didn't have to worry about money and stuff, like maybe. It'll be easier to figure it out, you know. Mm -hmm. But I don't know. I just buy all the shrooms in the world and live in a different conscious state. Shrooms, breakfast, lunch, dinner, complete meditation. My whole life would be a trip. Rose, you micro those three times a week, man, to do school and shit. I know a guy here who sells pretty cheap, like 15 bucks a gram. Bro, back home they sell two bucks a gram. Two bucks? To change your life? Holy shit. Man, we should start selling shrooms, bro. From Brazil? Yeah. Whenever I buy some, I usually take them in pills and like it's pretty easy to carry all over you know and if they stop me I just tell them it's like mad it's pretty easy we could call ourselves on over high <laughs> that's facts people ask where they got it from they just say those on over high kids and hand over PD and SNS would just think it's those wild ass high schoolers we could be rich yo we would change people's lives, bro. Yeah. Wanna go up? Yeah. What? Your simulation. Huh. Like a sim. There's someone controlling your every movement. No, I don't even want to help. Can you help me stop thinking?